when you compare Ford Ranger and Chevy S10 to the new two-wheel drive Jeep Comanche, you'll find they're priced about the same. Yet Comanche has the most powerful standard engine, the longest wheelbase, biggest wheels and tires, highest ground clearance, and the largest optional payload capacity. In fact, the more you compare Comanche, the more you'll see there is no comparison. See your Pacific Northwest Jeep Eagle leaders where you can always expect the best. What's up, guys? Here's my 1987 Jeep Comanche. Just wanted to give you guys a little walk around the uh, Panasonic AG450. I want to just show you guys around the truck. So this one's got the 2.5 liter four cylinder. It's pretty much a base model truck. It's got a four speed manual in it. Manual steering, no AC. It's about as uh, bare bones as you can get. It's probably my favorite part about the Jeep. It's the, it's the tailgate. I like that a lot. Go ahead and show you guys on the inside. It's got a different steering wheel on it. It's got a Grant aftermarket wheel. As I said before, it's a four-speed, four-speed manual. It's got the bench seat in it. Inside the door, you got to fix the speakers. The speakers are a little messed up, but there's the gauge cluster. It's got the idiot light cluster in it. We just have the warning lights. No actual gauges telling us how much oil pressure coolant temp I still need to get a new dash for her. the dash is a little beat up but just gotta find a Cherokee in the junkyard and hold the dash on it but yeah this truck's really fun to drive it drives really nice for such an old pickup I, uh, yeah I just like the way it drives it drives really smooth you know it's got coil suspension in the front or what they used to call it quadrilink suspension um, but yeah this truck's great really nice driving truck it'll do 70 on the freeway no problem but yeah figured I'd do a, just a little walk around we did a walk around on my TJ with this camera so I figured we'd do a walk around with the Comanche as well it's a little bit more fitting similar to the time era of this camera so I'll show you the bed too, I guess. Pretty decent sized bed for such a small little truck, which is cool. I suppose we'll show you the engine bay too. So here's the motor. Like I said, 2.5 liter four cylinder. It's got the Renex wiring system. Uh, yeah, a couple little things I gotta fix. Previous owner had this duct tape shut. But uh, motor doesn't leak any oil and uh, seems to run pretty good. So there you go. We'll close it up again. So there you go guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little walk around of the Comanche. If you guys did, please give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing, that helps me out a bunch guys. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.